seconds and counting. Hello everyone, welcome back to another Clutch Entertainment video. Today, we're going to be talking about the Astros and how they have advanced to their seventh straight ALCS. I mean, that is just insane. Um, I don't know if that's a record or something, but it seems like it should be. That's just an insane amount of, like, years of success and sustained success. And, I mean, this Astros team is just awesome. How can you not love this team? How can you not live in Houston and just love this team? They have carried this sports city for a while, and now they're going to be taking on Texas. It's going to be fun. I really don't like Texas. None of us like Texas. It's going to be a fun matchup, and I can't wait to see us destroy Texas. Um, it sounds like Justin Verlander is going to pitch game one, which then I would assume Framber's got game two, Javier's got game three, and I would assume where Katie gets game four again with how he pitched today. Speaking of that, Jose Arcady, great outing. I mean, was just uh, five and two-thirds innings, and he just pitched great. Only gave up the two runs. One of them was in that final inning, but really after the first inning, he was completely locked in and just was dominant overall. I mean, you can't ask for more from your fourth starter. He pitched really well. The bullpen came in, held it down. Brian Abreu, Ryan Presley, Hector Neris all held it down for this Astros team. So I think it's time maybe we get into some keys for that Ranger series. Just a couple of things that stand out to me about Texas is a lot of their pitchers are starting to get healthy, and so we're going to have to get to their starters. I'm not worried about Texas's bullpen. Texas bullpens had a lot of struggles this season, and I'm not really concerned about them. But I am concerned about their starters and how they're going to match up with our starters. It sounds like they may be getting Max Serger back. They have uh, Nathan Avaldi who pitched well. They have other guys who have pitched well this season. And we have to get to their starters and make their bullpen pitch a lot of innings over the series. And that's going to be a huge way that we are going to be able to have success. The other big key is slowing down their offense. Our pitching and bullpen is going to have to win us this series. They have a very good offense, but we have the advantage with the pitching staff. They have not really been able to like consistently pitch or consistently pitch well. Um, they've had some really up and down stretches during the season, and that's kind of why we took the division from them. But they have a great lineup, and they always seem to score runs. Like They always seem to put up a lot of runs. Uh, they have one of the best offenses in baseball, and our pitching staff is going to have to show up, especially Framber. Um, Framber is supposed to be one of the aces on this team, and he cannot continue to struggle like he has. It's just, you just can't, as an ace, you can't struggle like he has. He's been way, way, way too bad. But if we can get outings like we did from J JV, Javier, or Keedy, we're going to be okay with the bullpen that we have. The backside of our bullpen, um, you know, we got, just not even including the main bullpen, you have, like, guys like J.P. France and Hunter Brown who can come in and pitch a lot of innings for you, and you got guys like maybe Kendall Graveman will be back. You have Hector Neris. You have Brian Brady. You have Ryan Presley, obviously. You have a lot of guys in that bullpen who can really, really do a good job to kind of hold it down against this lineup that is a very potent lineup and will score a lot of runs, but will, you know, they're not going to outpitch you which I think, especially in October, that's the key to baseball. You have to pitch well. You have to have a good pitching staff if you want to win the World Series. We've seen that with the Astros in 2017 and um, 2022, where 2022 especially, their bullpen was maybe the best ever. They were just completely dominant all playoffs, and that was why they won the World Series. Um, just kind of looking at some key players for the Rangers. Obviously, you have um, Corey Seager, Dulce Garcia, guys like that, you're going to have to, Nate Lowe, Jonah Heim, uh, Mark, Marcus Semien, there's a lot of guys in that lineup that can really do a lot of damage. Josh Jung, too, I mean, there's a lot of guys who can really do a lot of damage in that Texas lineup. I would assume their starter for game one. I would assume it's uh, Jordan Montgomery, it seems like, maybe he's their game one starter, but I'm not 100% sure. I think... We should have the matchup. I, I would assume that JV should JV should have the advantage. They don't have an ace like that. They have a they have a very good lineup, like I have said. But overall, their rotation is not super strong. They may not have yeah. They have not announced it yet. Game one is on Sunday at Minute Maid, obviously, and then we have game two on Monday. So Sunday, Monday, then they have the off day Tuesday. 
Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is in Texas. Uh, all these games are going to be on Fox. Should be a fun series. I mean, you can't really ask for more. You got the two Texas teams going at it for the uh, World Series. I mean, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a really fun series. It's a big rivalry. They just, these teams really don't like each other, and it's going to be really, really fun. I mean, the Astros have the advantage on pitching, but I think the Rangers maybe have a more consistent lineup. But who knows? With how the Astros have been hitting lately, with guys like Jose Abreu and Michael Brantley and Chas McCormick and all these guys stepping up later down or down the line, and Jeremy Pena too. I mean, the Astros lineup is ridiculous. With Jordan, I mean, he's just been awesome. Kyle Tucker and Bregman haven't really done anything, it feels like. And, you know, they need to step up. But I don't worry about those guys too much. I think they're going to do their job, and I think they're going to figure it out. So I'm not too concerned about that. those guys in the lineup. I'm more so always concerned about the, you know, the 5 through and 8, 5 through 9. I don't expect anything out of Maldi, but 5 through 9. And I like to see them be consistent, and they have been. They've consistently put the ball in play, and they're getting on base, and they're getting to the other side of the lineup where you can get guys like Altuve, Jordan, Tucker, Abreu, these guys that can bat you in and, you know, just create more runs, create more action on the base pass, which is just huge to, you know, kind of stress the pitcher out, put some pressure on the defense. It, it changes everything when these guys at the bottom of the lineup can get on base. So let's just kind of get into my prediction for this series. I think I'm going to go maybe Astros in six. I think they'll win this series, but I think it's going to be really close. I think it's going to be closer than people think maybe because the Rangers lineup is going to win them some games. But the Astros are just inevitable, man. They always seem to find a way to win. They always seem to find a way in the World Series. And I don't think Texas is good enough to stop that, to be honest with y'all. They, they, I know they're hot, but they're going to have a couple days off here. The, both teams are going to have a couple days off. And, you know, the Astros have home field advantage. And even when they go to Texas, I think the Astros are going to have a ton of fans in Arlington. And it won't even feel like a road game, really. I mean, every single time they go to Arlington, it seems like there's a ton of Astros fans there. So it should be 100% a really fun series. I think the Astros will come out of this with the win and hopefully advance to the World Series. But this is going to be a super exciting series. And I'm, I'm going to continue to put out content on here for y'all about, you know, just kind of the Astros. And maybe after game one, game two, we'll kind of go over and preview the next game and talk about what happened in this game, why they won, why they lost. So if y'all want to continue to see that, make sure y'all like, subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.